Are you filled with feelings of self-doubt? Do you find yourself All right, I thought I would do a massive dilemmas or for allowing the sort of mere mortal speed run of super liminal. I've been having a lot of fun playing this game. And the like 30 minute speedrun achievement can be a little tough to get. But I'm going to do it in this video without any crazy strats. Just going fast and like relatively easy strats. So you can turn on the. Um, speedrun timer and the options. So you'll see it in the upper left hand corner. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid So it doesn't seem like there's a great way to move full consciousness and control. fast in this game. Like you can't like run Confirm. faster or you stray for like bunny hop or any of that. So it's really about just like listen to messages from optimizing your, your movement. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol and that my voice I'm has not been going explicitly to do chosen to remind you a that very I am good not job a part of, that. of your patient care team. I do not care. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Evidence, I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Please complete the remaining orientation activities. Also, generally minimizing grabs helps. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. Generally, like grabbing things in like closest perspective to what you need them. You did it. To maximize the time allotted to for solve your the puzzle is journey, good. Please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Oh, I missed that one. So you basically want to like drop and bump. Yeah, obviously doing that in one grab would be better. So I think I should get a time around like 28 minutes, which is not going to break any speedrun records, but it will get you the achievement and you don't need to do anything crazy. a few puzzles I haven't like perfected this is kind of one of them that actually went pretty well getting that like sign to stand sometimes is tough hello my name is dr. Glenn Pierce and I'd like to talk you can basically just run to this point special. you don't even have to look at the thing so special in fact that we have no and we're gonna use this box on the next puzzle as well not to worry we're working on it stand on this sign and then just drop this from the ceiling don't really need that much of a jump or you don't need that much of a size increase Hello. 
My name is Dr. Glenn Eaves, and I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward, and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. <sighs> Gotta have our morning coffee. So I don't use a speedrun timer. I kind of know some of the checkpoints Hello, in this one. I think if Dr. I get to the end of this around five you. minutes, it's but not bad. But you should now have access to a series of elevators that should trigger your subconscious to gradually wake you up. You should also find a variety of emergency exit signs that should... Also, if you have a chance to, like, resize a door like that... Absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't make a big difference, but if you make the door, like... Hello just My big enough so you can Dr. get through you have to In you have to walk less far i guess so the world is smaller i haven't super optimized that stuff but um the keyhole puzzle is another one where the keyhole keyhole dollhouse like where you're sort of resizing yourself. This is an automated message for all patients who attempted to use an alternate pathway to access the next phase of Somnasculpt therapy, but who have become trapped in a dream state paradox instead. Your decisions imply a failure of orientation, which reflects negatively on the standard orientation protocol. And I think it's a little quicker just to grab this, this one. Immediately. There's a block right in that room. Professional tip, the average adult can only withstand three to five dreams per night. This one you don't Once even this need to is eclipsed by entering do more anything. Dreams, your mind will suffer an explosive mental overload, reorienting you for the emergency Just jump exit protocol. A little bit before Please that subject box. Subject yourself to explosive mental overload. Note that this one is kind of glitchy. I think like grabbing this one and doing something like this implies a misunderstanding might be the fastest that I've found. Which are far more traumatic and likelier to result in catastrophe. I am not capable of suboptimal suggestions. Please exit this dream as soon as possible. And then when you reappear here, you're, the door is like behind you, so just spin around quick. So yeah, this is not a bad time. Seven minutes here. I don't think the loading screens count as your time. It looks like the elevators do. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and despite touring the water so this is the zone in the dark level, I have, I do know a couple may still be experiencing feelings tricks to get through this one faster, but I'm not going to do them Why do I feel here, like because it requires you sort of like when the sun is jumping shining. through the dark, which takes practice. So I'm just going to grab, grab the light in the one hallway and do it, but it only adds about like 15 seconds anyway. So I'm just going to point a little left, and then you can find the door here. This one you can jump across, but that's harder. So if you just walk, it doesn't take that long. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk more about the feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt I mentioned before. You feel this way because you want the kind of happy life you see all around you, the kind you know everyone else is enjoying. And that's exactly why we're here to help. Our 
her jumping up the stairs speeds you up? I'm not sure that's true. So I can actually walk this next section. Warning. You were advised to subject this light, yourself to explosive mental overload by descending into additional dreams, but have it. now descended into a dream within a dream instead, disorienting yourself even further. You are responsible for failing to make this crucial distinction. Actually, the, this is it's a little faster with the light to walk that, so the time saved. This one, you can just do it in the dark. You just you can see this shelf, so just like to the left of that shelf, jump, and then when you turn, you'll be able to see the outline of those boxes. Did you know There's that unintentional multiple dream layering occurs up. in less than one percent of patients? This correlates strongly with the 99% of patients who are able to follow simple instructions from the standard orientation protocol. I watched a video last night detailing like how people didn't like this one guy didn't like this game. He didn't like the characters in the story. And yeah, it seems like a bunch of individual levels that were sort of strewn together. And then they try to lay like a narrative and characters on top of that. So like the, like you could really play these out of order. It doesn't really matter, I think in terms of the narrative, the narrative doesn't really drive anything. So I understand that. I mean, I still like this game because the mechanic I think is cool. The artwork is cool, the music is cool. The, uh, the, the characters kind of like leave, leave something to be desired in my opinion. In your first playthrough, like some of the puzzles are sort of like... Attention. Dr. Pierce it's requires hard to know what you to do. So there, there are Significant memory better loss, strats here where you just use one clock and you sort of jump objects. on top of it and resize it. I, I can't even do that, but it's pretty quick just to drop three which have not yet been discovered or which right from the front of the understood. table. Oops. So you can just like drop one and run into it. Warning, Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have so no subroutine to correct click. these errors, but I cannot then compromise you can spawn the, like a ramp. Of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these and messages. And then right click. They would not make sense regardless. To get rid of them all. Attention, Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my So once you know the puzzles, like a lot of the time is just walking. <laughs> and then there's that whole level where it's like I can help you, but I also do not know. You just how. walk and like transmission ends. You respawn like several times. I think that's the next one. Last level, you also walk a lot with fairly few puzzles. This little area is, I would have thought was pretty cool. If you listen to the developer commentary, they sort of talk about some of these things, like how the game was designed, what the levels look like, how they came to certain Glenn Pierce. design decisions. Is that was just like a cool room that, that they had in some early version that they thought kind of worked with the aesthetic Please of the game. continue to do whatever you did most recently, and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. So I should have spawned that, the house smaller. It's taking me more time to walk. This may not even be big enough. Ugh. 
health just barely. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences All right, this one, have recently had. You can basically stand back Everyone here, grab the fan, to being soothing and therapeutic. If this make it big, the case, and then put it on the back wall and just there. blow the door sort of towards you. If you, if you can learn to do that fast, that'll save you a little walking time. This one, you don't want to make it too big. But you got to make it big enough to get in the back door. So yeah, another long hallway, and then the bouncy house, which Hello. my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. I haven't really, I don't really have a, a good quick strap for this. The worst I just thing sort of make it is focus on big enough so I can jump on the it top platform you from the cage of death, and then the I make disease, it big again. The cruelty of time, the cold big enough to walk in. Human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus and in on here, that. here, place, pick, small, turn, and place. If you make it if you make it large you, you won't be able to get through that particular door this one we need to make the door Hello. small My so I've just put Dr. it against Glenn this Pierce, one and drop like to thank you for triggering pick every single one of our turn and then protocols. place it in the keyhole this will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients congratulations and then, anyway, then you can grab you this in the right direction and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. And it'll grow as you fall. That was a little big, actually. Alright, so this is... No, yeah, this is the one where there's this long hallway, then you respawn, blah, 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 blah. Emergency exit protocol there's like, initiated. I, Please prepare to conclude your somnath. I mean, I guess this feeds the narrative, 10, but. 9, 8, error, error logged by. Orientation protocol. Stand by for analysis. I, I think I, in an earlier speedrun I watched, error there was some. Analysis complete. You are there was some way to get to trigger the last trigger more quickly by standing somewhere. This is inconceivable. But as I'm, I'm not sure. Like if they fix that in the in these newer version of the game. But so basically, I just walk all the way out here. Hypothesis. So we're gonna Patient respawn several times. Oriented. Gotta wait for all this Confusion. dialogue. If there were, if somebody knew of a strat to like save a lot of the time here. Improved hypothesis. You know, of course, Patient like glitchless. I don't do any of the glitch, glitch stuff. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency destroyed. Instruction. I've Continue seen videos of guys like using things to clip out of a independent basis as all boundary and then they clip back in exhausted. right at the elevator so they this can like run these in like 20 seconds. Orientation protocol. Goodbye. So we just gotta walk. Oh, I took my hand off the keyboard. To the trigger now. And I try to just point down and click, and then when I reappear, hopefully that's where the clock is. Oh, didn't go far enough. Gotta hear the alarm clock. Wasting time in my own speedrun video. This one, you gotta go in the door, spin. And you can grab this guy. Oh, I should have grabbed it closer to the wall. Still, but not big enough. Hello. 
My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly you can click on this. You can click it as you fall. Save you a second. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Let's so this one, yeah, you just gotta look the opposite way. This is the... The, the video I watched last night, this is the puzzle the guy was complaining about because I think, like, when you first play this, you don't really know. There's no mechanic you use before. It just sort of like you gotta look opposite and then the door will appear. So, yeah, I mean, kind of kind of get it. It seems like a weird puzzle. And then this one, you gotta make this spawn by looking away from it. I don't know. Like, the game mechanic is really good. I think they could do a second version of this game. Whoops. Finally, while we respect the unique With, like, of every a patient, different narrative, you maybe. understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up even with the help of so just, like, mechanisms. Double click on that box. And here you can memorize this path. It's like right, one, two, three, right, one, two, three. You'll see an arrow, and then it's two to the out. So it's pretty easy to remember. Right three, right three. Please listen carefully for the sound and of the alarm clock. Look for the moon and then point like four. If you are approaching a destabilizing dream weight. Point like four lights to it. Then when you see you're in the corner, just back up. And then the, the room will appear like where this light is here, roughly. So once it appears, just walk towards it. Point to where the clock is and just click, click, click. So walking that diagonal is sh shorter than walking the perimeter, of course. And then here, we just need to make it big. This is highly unusual. It appears you have entered the Somnasculpt diagnostic framework. Patients do not have access Go to through, this dream. Go through, grab it, in the door. Diagnostic warning. Unrealistic dream objects may result in dream integrity fail state. state, state. So what are we at? 22 minutes about? Last level is like five ish minutes. Or six minutes. So now just mostly a lot of walking. And you just gotta me remember the transitions between the different puzzles because sometimes you'll just like be in a dark room where you can't see anything. Fall, fall, fall. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space.
so fall, then spin around, go in here. When you see the sign, go right. Just not a lot of puzzle here to figure out, and the puzzles are just a little too easy. Like, you just kind of grab the thing you walk through. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because and then here, once you click, you got to turn around 180 to go through the next the level. So you just be in the dark. I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. Spin around, you walk through the stairway, spin around, then up. And then when you fall through here, you're just going to go slightly right around this red pillar to the door. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever So the puzzle pieces, but we hope that you won't. You can actually tried. place them on two tiles, all, if this is a place which I think is just the easiest way to get through this. So grab one, make it big, and you're gonna place it like right on the edge of those two tiles. Possible. Isn't that why you came here? And then this one, the same thing, right on the edge. Then as you back up, you can grab this guy. Again, right on the edge and so I only had to do a few touches there the other strat is like you grab it you jump grab it move it to the next tile then before you land you place it oh, it's kind of difficult this one nothing really tricky here I just walk up to this and make it big Be close to 27 minutes and here just try to fall down as quick as possible you're gonna make basically a 90 degree turn left so as you walk into the room you basically turn left and as you fall on the doors in the middle so yeah that's it turn move fall and then we just got to click the clock in the next after the next loading screen So that's how to do it. My fastest time is only a touch under 27 minutes, so this is actually going to be pretty close to that, even with walking that dark part in the dark. Yeah, so there you go, final time 27.04. Not too hard. Um. Just gotta optimize your movement, you know, do the puzzles as quick as possible, and then just like walk between everything. It takes Hello. the longest time. My name is Dr. Glenn so, anyway, that is my speedrun of Superliminal.